Hi, I'm Rami Bakir, and I'm presenting with my co-author here, Sara Sadani, the paper we worked on with Sharif Abdul Mohsen with the title, Student Experiences of Online Design Education Post-COVID-19, a Mixed Methods Study. In March of 2020, a lockdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic was implemented across universities in Egypt, and design studios across schools of architecture were left abandoned as we all turned to our computer screens for course delivery. A new reality is instilled by the COVID-19 pandemic, a reality that requires a quick exploration to understand what worked and what didn't during the first moments of the COVID-19 lockdown that occurred in the spring of 2020. This should help educators set up more efficient hybrid frameworks of architectural education, which is now mainly taking place from our homes, offices, instead of the studios and lecture halls. For this exploration, we designed a questionnaire-based survey distributed to students enrolled to AAST Architecture and Engineering Departments in Cairo, the Heliopolis and Smart Village campuses. The questionnaire included closed-ended questions and open-ended questions aiming at understanding the students' experiences and the reasons behind them. The curriculum presented in both departments was the same, and we focused mainly on all seven design courses in the curriculum and 12 other elective and core technology courses, all of which included a digital or computational component in their course outlines. The population across both campuses eligible to receive the questionnaire was 717 students. We used equal probability random sampling to ensure that each student had an equal chance of being recruited into the study using the following equations. This gave us a sample of 356 students who were approached and asked to fill the survey. And at the time of writing, which was September 2020, we received 162 responses. From our thematic analysis of the qualitative data, we were able to identify two families of themes. The first described the positive experiences that students perceived during their online learning stage of the spring 2020. Four main themes were identified, first of which was how students felt that the online stage helped them save time, as there was no need to commute to school every day and no need to waste time at the plotting centers anymore. The second positive experience was that of feeling an increase in support provided by faculty members. The third positive thing for the students was how they felt more independent. The fourth main theme capturing the merits of the online learning stage was that of professional socialization, where students were encouraged to learn from their peers by listening in to the online feedback sessions, while also continuously observing other students' work archived on the used platforms. On the other hand, the analysis of the open-ended questions helped us identify three main challenges that students perceived as most critical in the online learning stage. The most overwhelming challenge was that of poor internet connection that led many students to miss parts of lectures, if not whole sessions. Over and above, the extra budget for internet packages was also a burden for some. Achieving balance with the increased amount of work was the second theme of challenges identified, where the switch to smaller submissions to decrease pressure on students paradoxically led to more of these submissions, which actually put them under more pressure. While withstanding the extra after hours needed, isolation was the third theme included several manifestations of the distance learning challenges that faced a few students. In terms of students' preferences with respect to the online platforms that they used, in most cases, students reported using more than one platform simultaneously to support their design stu studios with 27% reported using three platforms at a time, and some students reporting using five or even six platforms. However, the most efficient platform as reported by the students was Zoom, followed by Facebook groups. On the other hand, the private university network was found by the students to be the least preferred or the least efficient uh, because it was hard to maneuver. There were limitations on file size uploads. Notifications were not immediately received and so students would have to have to check periodically themselves and the system often lagged. 
While Facebook groups was described as one of the most efficient platform, the fact that it was that it is not an educational tool meant that it sometimes caused some miscommunication. And while Messenger allowed fast and quick calls, it was only useful for short notes or quick updates. Zoom was described as inefficient when it, it was used in its basic format as the 45 minute limit uh, made it cut off every now and again. We believe uh, that by focusing on students' perceptions of the online learning phase of the study period, we began to unravel important elements about not only distance uh, design learning, but also design education as a whole. Despite the sudden onset of the lockdown, there were several positive experiences as observed in this presentation, which we think could be built on. It was also noticed that in some cases, both the positive experiences and perceived challenges appear to be influenced by the online educational technologies used and that certain features appear to be preferable by students such as live two-way communication, also control over the tools that will allow them more privacy, having an easy access permanent digital archive of the work of the students, and having a notification pop-up tool for instantaneous announcements from faculty members. Finally, we believe that this work constitutes a first step towards understanding a novel and complicated reality, which is why we intend to dig deeper into the collected data set to identify statistical patterns in future research. Which we think could help understand more students' design thinking and how it is transformed during distance learning. For our future research, we intend to survey also faculty members. We thank you. And stay safe.